Welcome to my channel, everyone! I realized that it's definitely time to put on the bookshelf all my fall books and it's time to start organizing all my winter books. I want to select all winter designs which I own and then for December I want to find pictures with Christmas trees, with ornaments and then for the rest of the winter season in January and February I can color winter landscapes and so on. So the first part of this video will be dedicated to my books and to the pages which I plan to color and in the end of this video I also want to attach small part where I will be talking about other designs, books or PDF pictures from Etsy, which I find very inspiring. Maybe I will purchase them or maybe I will put them on my wish list for the next season, but I wanted to share with you my opinion because for me they are very inspiring and there is a lot of very interesting designs, so we are very lucky this year. Of course, Winter Wonderland and Country Charm will be my main books for the next three months, but don't worry, I don't intend to show them to you. I know that Teresa Goodrich is a, a very popular book on my channel, so let's move to the other books which I have selected. I really want to start coloring this page from Le Jean Nouveau and I want to do this Holy King. It's a gorgeous design, so many details, but image is very beautiful. So I think that I will start it in a day or two because I really very inspired by it. It's a book by Herb Leonhardt. If you need, I will leave you a link to the full flip through of this book because it's full of the amazing designs. And maybe I even can try to do the full spread, but of course it's very time consuming because it's very detailed. Next I have a pair of designs which are similar for me. They are very lovely, but I am not sure which one I want to do. In Kinuka Craft I was thinking about this lovely snow sprite. I do love this fairy of snow or angel, so very sweet picture. Also, I have another a very nice one. I think that it could be perfect for Christmas. So maybe I will try to do one of these pictures. But also in the book of Josephine Wall, I have design which is a little bit similar because again we have an angel which is with snowflakes. The difference is that usually in this book I use watercolors and in Kinuka Craft I usually use regular pencils, so I simply have to think about which medium I want to use more and then it will help me to make my final choice. Of course, I will be happy to read your comments which of these designs you like and which of these designs you want me to color on my channel. Next, I have a book by Anne Stokes and sadly it's very neglected on my channel, but it has very nice winter designs. Maybe I will put it aside for January because they are not exactly Christmas. They more like winter designs, but in my opinion they are beautiful. Look at this one. It's difficult. It's time consuming, but I definitely think that it can be a very nice picture in the end. Maybe I will be calling not the huge designs, but I also have them in the postcard, in the smaller size. Sorry for the noise, but I want to open it to show you closer. I have these designs, this one I have already colored. So maybe I will be doing one of these postcards. You know that I am not very good with watercolors, so maybe I need to gather my courage and to start coloring more with watercolors and one of these postcards will be a good practice for me. Designs are absolutely amazing. Maybe I will be coloring this in January, I will think. 
Next, I have this bunch of books. The first one of them is by Emily Lindehall Oberg. And here, my first favorite for the Christmas season is this very cute gnome and mouse. I wanted to do them for a long time. I think that each December I put it on my wish list and I hope that maybe this year I finally will find time to do it. It's absolutely amazing. Of course, in this book we have a lot of other winter designs, but this one is my first favorite. But also, I realized that for a long time I hadn't colored anything in the books by Hannah Carson. So I grabbed Seasons and in Seasons I have two favorites in the winter part of this book. This is favorite number one. It's absolutely magical. I can imagine how it will be nice to do the dark background and light halo around all the lamps, so it's very nice. I just have to think about main colors here. But also I love this spread. I always intimidated by Hannah's portraits, Hannah's faces, but this one is amazing. If I would decide to color it, of course I will be using mixed media with paints for the background and then with pencils for the details, but I think that it will require a lot of preparations because I will need to think about which paints, watercolors or acrylics to use, then I definitely want to add some shining, so some pearlescent watercolors and it will be very long color long, but of course I would like to do it. So that's two my favorites from Seasons. And recently I also finally got the Midnight Masquerade and I am very happy. Maybe uh, when I got this book it was like push to start coloring in Hannah Carson books again. And here I would say that almost each and every page can be suitable for Christmas, like Christmas Masquerade, a lot of designs which all these costumes, all these yummy things, but let me show you which are my favorites so far. I do love this one. It reminded me about my childhood. <laughs> Don't know why. And I also love all pictures with sweets. I think that they are perfect. So, a lot of ideas from this book. I wish I would have more free time. Anyway, let's move further. And another design which I want to do during this winter season, maybe not in December, but at least in January, it will be this illustration from the Snow Queen. The second winter illustration from this book I have already colored during previous um, winter. So. This is my only one remaining winter picture here and I do love face of the Snow Queen. She is beautiful, she is evil and I want to do it. And as I usually do at least one page of Selena Fennec each month, I think that in January it will be in my plans. Next, I have two pictures which definitely have to be colored in January, in December, because they have Christmas trees. And for me they are a little bit similar, so I need to decide which one to do. I think that you all know this illustration from Emmanuel de Bonheur with Christmas tree. All other winter Christmas illustrations in this book I have already finished. But I also think about a very similar page from this book, the day we finally met. I recently started to color in it and I finished my first page. So now I think maybe I will find enough courage to start this beautiful but intimidating page. 
I definitely don't want to mess it up, so I need to carefully think about all the details and all colors I want to use here. But page is absolutely gorgeous, I love these botanical elements on the foreground and of course I love this fireplace, so I think that this one is slightly more preferable comparing to Manuet, but we will see. And of course I have my Christmas books, like Escape to Christmas Past, which is perfect if you want to do something quick and still in Christmas spirit. But this time I selected for myself two spreads. I don't know why, but I do love these bells, Christmas bells, and I would love to use some unusual colors, maybe pink background and golden bells. So maybe this one. But I also love this spread, which has a lot of various Christmas things on the background, so it will be quite long. But I do love these birds here. And I'm a little bit uh, unsatisfied that recently I hadn't colored in the books by Lizzie Mary Cullen. And in previous years, Magic, um, Magical Christmas was probably my most favorite book for December. This year, I don't know. Of course, I would like to do this Christmas in Amsterdam, but I'm afraid that if I would start this page, I will be coloring it from the beginning to the end of December. So maybe I will do something smaller. I still have some cute uncolored pictures here, and I want to color something with ink tents for Christmas. I forgot to mention that probably, apart from Teresa Goodrich books, my most popular and favorite book for this December, for the time before Christmas, will be books by Tatiana Bagema. You know that I have already started to color in her Christmas book, but I also like her uh, latest book, it's like Santa Village, I believe, there, also ama there are amazing designs, so I have already printed several pages from my Christmas book. <laughs> my plans, they are huge, because I have a lot of books, I love all the designs, and now I just need to make a final choice and to find enough of free time. And as I said, of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion. And finally, I have another book which I'd like to do before Christmas. And it's a huge page from Anastasia Coldriva, Dragon's Tales. You can see this cute Santa and his sleigh. And of course, it has to be colored somewhere in December before Christmas. And again, each December I put it on my wish list, on my plans, and I never have enough time to start this page. Maybe this year it will be lucky enough. So, Teresa Goodrich first, then Tatiana Bagema Christmas, and then I will need to make my choice from this huge pile of books. And now I want to show you other Christmas books and Christmas coloring pages which I found on Etsy and which I do like. And finally I want to share with you some of the quite inspiring Christmas designs which I found on Etsy and about which I am thinking, do I need to purchase them? The first set is by Ruby Charm. I do love her style of drawing animals and I love her backgrounds, so this set is quite interesting. The next artist which I accidentally found on Etsy is totally new for me, but I think that idea is absolutely brilliant. You can create your own Christmas village so, as far as I was able to understand, you can 
print parts of this Christmas village, you can color them and then to assemble. And it has so many interesting details, like Christmas tree, like open doors and windows, a lot of citizens of this adorable Christmas village. If I would find a place in my house where to place this Christmas village, I think that I would definitely purchase this coloring page because as I said, for me it's something very new, very unique and I love style of the artist. Next, of course, we have beautiful works by Christine Karen. I don't have any of her books in my collection, but I love her style and maybe in PDF format they are even more suitable for me because I can choose for myself how much of grayscale I can print darker or lighter and these two Christmas designs they are so wonderful. Next works from Etsy store by Ruth Sanderson. Ruth Sanderson is one of my favorite illustrators. I love to watch her full color works but I always hesitate regarding purchasing her coloring books. For me, they are probably too dark, they are much more grayscale that I would normally prefer. So even if mice are totally adorable, I still haven't decided yet if I need this book. Next set of Christmas pictures are by Cats and Dots and she always create designs full of adorable, strange, funny creatures. And I found three very nice, very, fu very funny pictures. I am sure that they will bring a lot of fun when you will be coloring them. Next, of course, there is absolutely amazing design by Chris Chang. I love cardinal birds and this dress is absolutely magical. Next designs are by Lenka Filoninko. She created set of Christmas and winter designs, but these two are definitely my favorites. And I don't know which one I would prefer, squirrel or birds. Both are really very nicely drawn. And finally, again, uh, Christmas pages or even Christmas book from the artist, which is totally new for me. Maybe they are not very traditional in style, but I love that they are detailed and I do love this sketchy style of the artist. So maybe I will follow this artist and I will think about it. And finally, here are Christmas books which I have on my wish list and which I consider quite nice. You know that there is a huge amount of Christmas books, so it's always difficult to select, but this is what I found the most inspiring for me. Thanks for watching, I will be happy to hear your opinion about which pictures are your favorite and about your plans, what do you plan to color this Christmas. Bye!